as people take pictures and marvel at the beauty under their feet lies a celestial map which symbolizes the time the dam was created based on the 25,772 year axial precession of the earth. Let's dwell into the twilight of Lake Mead and unveil new discoveries and shocking mysteries. But first, the latest projections show that Lake Mead water levels could make a huge drop this year. Lake Mead is situated in a region of the planet with a very active geographical past. All of this unique and extremely active geological activity is interesting as Lake Mead has connections to ancient seas, volcanoes, and major tectonic plate movements. Scientists are just beginning to understand how water extends into the depths of Earth's interior as oceanic crust subducts, slides, and sinks into the mantle, thus carrying water along with it. Not much is fully understood about the monument and the intentions of its creator other than it marks the date of the dam's construction in the 26,000 year cycle of Earth's precession. This section has massive winged bronze sculptures known as Monument Plaza. But the most mysterious part of the plaza hardly gets noticed by visitors. However, a description of the plaza by the artist himself, J.W. Hansen, offered little clarity and only furthered the mystery. And what's even more perplexing is the heavy connections to ancient Egypt. Mainstream scientists and archaeologists insist that there's no real connection. But many of the monuments of the Grand Canyon were given spiritually Egyptian-inspired names during the 19th century Powell survey, such as Osiris Tower and the Temple of Ra. Many insist that all of the caves in the Grand Canyon are off-limits due to the caves containing ancient artifacts. It uses planet locations, Polaris, our North Star, and Dubin, the North Star of ancient Egypt. It can be best described as a 26,000-year clock. The carvings and markings on the floor show that Dubin was the North Star for ancient Egyptians during the era of the Great Pyramids. Why so much ancient Egyptian symbolism if there's no real connections? And what's even more perplexing is that it's very difficult to understand unless seen from way above. 